down. Oh my god, look at this, guys. Look how many musketeers are on the map. Look how many royal recruits are on the map. I have never seen that many troops on the map before. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Mars, back with another Clash Royale video. And guys, in today's video, we're taking my favorite royal recruits three musketeer deck into Legendary's Infinite Elixir Challenge. That's right, guys. Supercell brought back the Infinite Elixir Challenge where you battle in seven times elixir, so... You pretty much just drop cards and hope for the best. I don't know why they felt the need to make it last eight days. That seems a little bit over the top to me, but anyways, guys, let's hop into it. Try to get these five wins in a row, and um, yeah, let's hop into these battles right now. All right, guys, hopping into our first game live right now against Vitor PH, and we're going to start dropping some cards, but guys, I just want to remind you to smash that like button and click the little fireball in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Uh, doing those little things takes like one or two seconds, but it benefits my channel tremendously, and I really appreciate it. And guys, wow, this guy is using um, a minor deck, and look, we already have two sets of Royal Recruits down. Um, I'm going to go in for just everything here. We want to get as many um, three Musketeers down. I feel like, wow, I just put those into a poison, though. That was not a great look. But, guys, let's just keep dropping cards. I feel like we have what it takes to overwhelm this guy. And he's just going in for, like, miners to do nothing. Um, we'll just go in for, like, royal recruits, three musketeers. And, yeah, he's spamming into three musketeers. That's never what you want to do, guys. But look at this guy's right here. What am I even supposed to do? You're just supposed to drop cards and hope for the best. And, yeah, we're going to go in for three more musketeers. Can I somehow try to get nine musketeers on the map? That would be crazy, um, but let's just keep going in for this. Guys, he has a bomb tower, though, and okay, there we go. We finally get six musketeers. Let's go with another fisherman and more royal hogs. I'm hoping that we can just overpower him here, but guys, I can't even keep up with the elixir at this point. Um, I somehow got king tower activated. I didn't even see how that happened either. We'll start going in for like a fireball here. Some more royal recruits, more royal hogs, dark goblin, um, more musketeers, guys. Look at this. I, I don't even know how to, like, commentate this match because I don't even know what's going on right now. But we'll go in for hogs, um, another dark goblin. Yeah, if this guy didn't have a poison, this game would already be over because that's the only way he's actually killing my musketeers. Um, I'm just trying to keep up with the elixir here, guys. Going for some more musketeers. Oh my goodness, look how many musketeers we have on the map now. I think we have at least like seven or eight musketeers. But he's able to poison all of them. Can I get a heal spirit on some of these musketeers, guys? Try to get that heal. There we go, we do get it on a few of them. And guys, I think we're finally starting to break through a little bit. I think if we go in for just more hogs. Okay, and now that I think, now that we took one of his towers, I think it's going to go pretty much downhill from here. Uh, for this guy, we'll go Musketeers in the pocket, Bar Barrel, and I think he finally gave up there, guys. So there we go. That's going to be win number one, and that only took like a minute and a half, even though it felt like forever. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go into game number two against Thanos. I am inevitable. And I'm going to drop some Royal Recruits here to start this game, and then go in for a Fisherman, a Dart Goblin, and we'll get our uh, three Musketeers down here behind our Recruits. And then get in another set of recruits. Guys, look at the, how much stuff I have on my side of the map. Oh my goodness. This guy is going to end up having three musketeers or uh, royal recruits as well. So that's interesting. But um, yeah, let's go in for more recruits. And he went in for recruits at the exact same time, guys. But the three musketeers are getting so much value. And I want to fireball this magic archer. Um, get some more musketeers down. And I think... At this point, if we go in for some more recruits, we might we might have won the game already, guys. But actually, it's hard to be up elixir in a game like this because you constantly are both full on elixir. But every time he drops a magic archer, I just want to fireball it right away. And I actually missed that fireball because of my fisherman. But guys, I can sense this game is about to go downhill very quickly for my guy here. Uh, we're going to go in for three more musketeers on his side of the map and absolutely just wreck everything that he's putting down oh my god look at this guys look how many musketeers are on the map look how many royal recruits are on the map i have never seen that many troops on the map before and guys we get the easy three crown against thanos right there impossible all right guys into our third game here and honestly after this game i might actually switch up the deck because 
This is almost too easy with this deck. I literally just have to drop cards and I will win the game. Um, but this guy's gonna go in for an elixir golem push, so let's just get like as many musketeers down as we can to just wreck this elixir golem. He just lightninged, but I dropped more musketeers. And look at his right hand tower, guys. This, oh my gosh. If we just go for the three crown here on the right, I think we're gonna win. Let's go in for some more musketeers on the right. Yeah, he just lightninged, and look, we already get the three crown against the elixir golem player. That literally took 30 seconds, and we had seven musketeers on the field. Well, guys, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Wow, guys, I actually finished a game in this game mode without somebody getting three crowned. Unfortunately, it's a 2-1-L, though. All right, guys, hopping into our final game of the video here. We got four wins. Can we make it five here in the Infinite Elixir Challenge? And it looks like this guy is just going to start spell cycling here. So hopefully uh, we can get these um, Musketeers on the map and start going in for some offense here. Yeah, he's just going in for the straight-up spell cycle, but we have so much defense around the King Tower already that I think we're going to be able to three-crown him. Hopefully here, guys, if we just go in for more, um, maybe a bar barrel on top of this stuff. And yeah, guys, look, my King Tower is at 1,500, but look at how many troops we have on the map, and that's going to be a quick, easy three-crown to cap off the challenge. Five wins inside the challenge, 10,000 gold is our reward. That felt good. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's battles in the Legendaries Infinite Elixir Challenge. Of course, I was using my favorite new deck in the game, the Royal Hogs Royal Recruits 3 Musketeer deck. If you guys are still watching at this point, make sure to drop a like on today's video and click the little fireball in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Doing those little things takes like one or two seconds, but it benefits my channel tremendously, and I really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, it's going to wrap it up for today's video, and I will see you guys in a couple days with another Clash Royale video.